Hi, my name is Jason Shaw. I'm a thoracic surgeon at Maimonides Medical Center. I'm board certified in general surgery. I'm also board certified in thoracic surgery. So I went to uh, McGill. After that, I did my five years of general surgery training at North Shore LIJ. I did two years of research at New York University, and I then went on to do uh, two years of thoracic surgery fellowship at the University of Miami, and I ultimately did an additional year of minimally invasive thoracic surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital. At the time, I was in the middle of my general surgery residency, and I did two years of research <clears throat> really looking at angiogenesis, which has to do with how blood vessels are formed, and a lot of that was looking at how they were formed in tumors. And at the same time, a friend, a friend of mine actually fell ill uh, with lung cancer, and so the two things kind of went together, and then my interest really became more honed in on thoracic oncology. So the decision to go into thoracic surgery, for, from my perspective at the beginning, was always with that sort of aim. The complexity of the problems also requires that you uh, find out the best treatment plan for each patient. And that often involves talking to their medical doctor, pulmonologist, or radiation oncologist, um, looking at their overall health. and there may be more than one choice, but trying to find the best fit for that patient. And, and that's beyond just the excitement of, of the actual procedure and the technical challenge. That's the exciting part and most challenging part of, of what I do as a thoracic surgeon. I have an interest, a particular interest in thoracic surgery and developing more minimally invasive ways of doing the same kind of surgery that traditionally has been done. Um, that often means something called thoracoscopic lobectomy or VATS lobectomy. And really we achieve, achieve the same thing but with smaller incisions. And I think that that's something that um, that is becoming more and more important, allowing people to be offered potentially curative surgery who may not have otherwise been considered surgical candidates. You know, it's funny, I think that sometimes people think that thoracic surgery uh, means lung cancer, but it, it doesn't. There's, we treat anything in the chest, and really uh, thoracic surgery as a specialty was, uh, came out of surgery for uh, tuberculosis. And what it has come to be known for is surgery for the esophagus, surgery for the lungs, and also something called the mediastinum, which is everything in between. I think that there are several new trends in our field as we both diagnose uh, and treat patients. Uh, on a diagnostic um, level, we're doing things like using an ultrasound probe on a bronchoscope to try to uh, diagnose cancers in a less invasive way. We're using special types of bronchoscopy to see if we can detect a cancer cell that may not be easily visible with the naked eye. And then I think from a treatment point of view, we are able to uh, perform some surgeries on the chest, which is indeed major surgery, but we're able to do it with um, less pain and uh, less days of work lost. So I think that there are a couple of clinical breakthroughs. I think that uh, thoracoscopic lobectomy is a major breakthrough. It's, it's a way that we're able to take, uh, to perform surgery, removing a par portion of the lung in a way that is uh, less, causes less discomfort and a shorter hospitalization than it used to be done in the traditional way. I think that there's also a utilization of some diagnostic tools such as endobronchial ultrasound um, and particularly narrowband imaging for uh, bronchoscopy to diagnose cancers. I think CT scans are getting better at detecting early cancers. When I meet a new patient, I have a, in a short amount of time, I want them to feel comfortable with, with me. I want them to know that 
It's not just about uh, performing surgery. It's about knowing who they are, who their family is, what the surgery is going to be. I want to explain to them what the other options are. Sometimes we need to do the surgery and sometimes it's better to to watch. Sometimes other tests are needed and these are complicated decisions but I want them to feel comfortable that knowing that I'm going to really treat them uh, as if they were a family member um, asking what is the best thing for them to do. An 82 year old who would have uh, was sort of told she was too frail for surgery and ultimately underwent uh, surgery and did quite well and when she didn't show up to my office because apparently she was at the hairdresser um, following a more minimally invasive surgery that I did I felt that this is sort of the the ultimate satisfaction of years and years of training trying to deliver this kind of less invasive uh, care to patients so that was that was a very satisfying moment